This is how to make a paper wig for the Constitutional Convention. First thing you need is a bunch of paper, scotch tape, scissors, and a stapler just in case. First you need to make the base of your wig. Take one piece of paper, roll it up, Start to curl. Roll it again. <clears throat> Curls even more. Then take one piece of tape. I like that. And then the other one, same thing. Roll it back just a little. Starts to curl that one. Now you have your two sides of the base of the wig. You're going to take the two, overlap them just a little bit, no more than an inch because you want to make sure that it fits your head. If you have a big head like me, you want to make sure they're not too tight. If you have a small head, you can adjust it. The idea is you want to make sure it fits your head. Put them down, take one piece of tape, put it in the middle, there you go, now they are attached and you have the base of your wig. Definitely use a few more pieces of tape to secure it. And there we go. That is the first part of our wig. The next step. The next step is to make all of the other curls that go on the top of the wig. My suggestion to save paper is to take one piece of paper, cut it in half, the short way. It doesn't have to be exact. And then, Roll like so. So you have the curls that are about the same size as the other curl. Take a piece of tape, put it inside the curl. You have another curl. You can estimate how many curls you'll need by placing the curl right here. Now that I have all of my curls set up, I can start to see how my wig is going to look. Like that. Pretty cool. So now we want to attach all the curls to the wig itself. Once we figure out that they all fit nice and neatly, we can kind of adjust them so the tape part is down. You want to do this on a flat surface, so do this on your desk. Make sure they're all facing down. They're all nicely neat, aligned. I would take it to the edge of your desk, bring it over, and now you're going to take more tape. We'll tape it down. We can put our wig on top of our head and we can see that it more or less fits and looks like a wig. It should go to about the top of your ear, maybe a little further, maybe a little shorter, but that's just about where you want. Now, I'm going to figure out how to make the back of the wig, as well as the front curls, if you want. To make the front curls, we go through the exact same process, just to make it a little bit shorter, because you'll know that your face is not as wide as your head is long. So, you're going to take one piece of paper, Now I can put this on my head. And we can see that I have my wig starting to form. Great. Now what I'm gonna do is make the back curls on my, for my wig. To make the back curls, you need two pieces of paper. Now this is the challenge. Two pieces of paper. You're going to place both pieces of paper so that they are no wider than the wig itself. And actually, you probably want it to be a little 
You just have those locks there at the end, you want to curl those as well. So I'll curl it in the back like that. We have our front wig like that. Now the last thing is attaching your wig. The last step is making it attached to your head. As you can see, you might need to adjust, making the curl smaller, and cutting them just a little bit beyond the edge of the wig so that you put on the head, the curls in the back, the leg, and the fire, so it doesn't look like exhaust coming out of the end of the fire. So, the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna get some yarn. That's a step for our wig. If it's a little loose, you can tighten it as you need to. And you can always put more tape on any part of the wig to make it more secure. But then you have your wig ready for the Constitutional Convention. Enjoy!